Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. Coming back to do your readings. We are back to our regular setup. Thank goodness. Ooh. <laughs> Been gone for a while. Here we go. Virgos, what's going on with you? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. What's going on with Virgos this week? Three of Cups is here for Virgos. Seven of Swords. You may be dating. You may have to date on the low. <laughs> For some of you, that's I know that sounds weird, like date on the low, but it's like you may have to date secretly for some of you, okay? Take it as it resonates. You may not be letting people know who you're dating right now. You may be keeping that a secret. For some of you, I'm feeling the energy. Just put the characters where they go. But I'm feeling the energy of someone who could be like secretly partying or like doing some doing something they're not supposed to be doing secretly drinking getting away to drink ace of swords oh truth clarity some type of clarity is coming okay oh what popped out what's this judgment will of fortune four of swords yeah, now someone could be trying to come back around in the future and you're just like, nope, I'm tired. I don't want, I don't want this again. Mm -mm. I'm too tired to deal with this person, this situation. Okay, with this energy coming out. Let's see what this is. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, someone could be thinking of you, thinking of reconciling with you, getting back together. But it's like... Maybe they haven't let you know this yet with the Seven of Swords. What's going on? Three of Cups. What is this for Virgo? Three of Wands. Okay, three, three. Six of Pentacles. Okay, okay. And the Ten of Wands. You could be separated from someone. Could be long distance for some of you. Someone needing to pay for a move and maybe over overseas or a different state city I feel like someone is thinking about like the good times with you yeah now some of you could be getting ready to celebrate something like celebrating a move you could be finally like investing in a move but it's also a lot of hard work so it's hard to enjoy it but you're getting ready to celebrate something big here. It's like finally moving, finally having the money to move. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been having to save, penny pinch. And now Eight of Wands. It's like something finally takes off. You finally get to go. You finally get to move. Some of you, you could have some type of big trip coming up. Three of Pentacles. I'm feeling a move. <laughs> Yes, this is good. You may put all of your money into making this move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, some of you may be uh, trying to get approved, like approved for a loan as well. Seven of Swords. Show me for Virgo. The World card. Four of Cups. Yeah, putting an end to deception. You don't want it anymore. Anyone being deceptive, deceiving you. Eight of Pentacles. You're seeing things differently with the Eight of Pentacles. I don't normally get that for the Eight of Pentacles. But I feel like you're seeing things differently. You're very focused now. And it, it's like no one can pull a fast one on you. No one can get anything over on you anymore. It's like, no, I'm seeing things very clearly. I see this person or the situation for what it is. I need to move. I need to move on with my life. I need to let go. I need to focus on my future. Yeah, judgment. Using good judgment. Seven of Wands. Putting a block or a guard up now. You're being very protective over yourself, your energy. It's like, I'm not going to let anyone deceive me anymore. I'm not letting that happen. Eight of Swords. With the tower, kaboom. Yeah. Some of you, um, I don't know if you're able to watch this from jail. 
or from prison, but some of you could be getting released from prison or jail. You could be finding out that your partner or someone in your life in general is getting released from prison. Some of you, you're having a like a total mind shift, a paradigm shift. There's a complete shift happening in your mindset where once you felt stuck and now you're about to be set free. Some of you getting set free from a Scorpio. Some of you are being set free. You're setting yourself free completely. Two of Cups, some of you are finding new love. Setting yourself free from something old and you're stepping right into something beautiful. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords, show me for Virgo. Knight of Cups. Yeah, some of you just started dating someone. Could be a Cancer for some of you. Chariot is here. Could be a Taurus or a Libra as well. Empress. This may move straight into marriage, Virgo. Wow. Some of you thought that you would never get over this person or over an old situation. But it's like you're sneaking away from this person. You're getting away. You're, you're sneaking away. And it's like you're stepping into something so beautiful. Wow. Show me this Empress for Virgos. Nine of Cups. Getting your wish, your desire. Ten of Pentacles. Something very stable coming in. This is beautiful, Virgo. You're getting something very long term. It may start off as like just you going out on a couple of dates or you, you know, really feeling like like a sweetness. I feel sweet, like a sweet energy between you and this person. You may feel like this person is really adorable or sweet or cute. I'm feeling this like laughing energy. Like I feel like laughing. So you may be having a lot of fun with this new person. Maybe they they make you laugh when you've been going through a lot. Someone is like bringing joy into your life. Someone is very sweet. Like they like to do things for you. They like to like do little sweet things for you. Like maybe get you a little card or flowers or candy, your favorite food or something like that. Like someone is very thoughtful. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, how is Virgo feeling at this time? Page of Swords. You're very skeptical. <laughs> yeah, it could be about a Taurus. You're very skeptical about marriage or commitment. Knight of Wands because you don't want to be played. Yeah, but you do feel like you're in love with someone. It could be very passionate right now. Two of Pentacles. You could be making a decision about a Gemini or a Libra. Justice is here. I feel like you you just want to do the right thing. You don't want to jump into bed with anyone. You want to do things right. So you may be taking your time with this person. Yeah. How does this person feel about Virgo? How do they feel? Two of Swords. Yeah. So they're wondering about you. Queen of Wands. They're wondering... If you really want this with them, Knight of Swords, yeah. You see, you could be taking your time, but they may be thinking, okay, you know, I'm hoping that this is what Virgo wants. Because <laughs> Virgo is kind of moving a little slow and, you know, they may want to move things a little bit quicker. Yeah. So they're wondering about you. Are you attracted? Are you turned on? Do you want this with them? Ace of Pentacles. Wow. A lot of aces coming out. Yeah. They want this with you. They're just wondering. Yeah. King and Queen of Wands here. Person is very attracted to you. Could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. But it's like they're wondering, you know... Is Virgo really attracted to me? You know, it's like they're just dealing with their own little thoughts about you, but they want something very solid with you. Anything else Virgo should know about this person, the situation? Anything else Virgo should know? Capricorn's energy is here. The devil energy. King of Wands. Okay. Three of Swords. Okay. So, yeah, you're taking a break. For a lot of you, you could be taking a break 
from a fire sign. You could have went through a lot with the fire sign. Some, some type of toxic energy that you've had a lot of heartbreak with. So now you've learned a lot. You've learned to go slow. You've learned to take your time. You've learned not to rush into things that seem too good to be true. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to take my time with this person. So coming out of something that was very toxic, you could still be healing. When I get the four of swords, the three of swords, that's someone that's still healing. Okay? So you could be still healing from something that you just came out of, but you also are entertaining someone new or getting to know someone new. Or this is coming in for you. Wow. Needing to heal. Yeah, four of, uh, four of wands. Some of you have a brand new relationship. Take that leap of faith. The full energy is here. Seven of cups. Wow. There's a lot happening here. It's like all of your desires, your wishes, everything that you wish for is coming. You just have to take that leap of faith. And some of you need to heal from what happened in your past with another toxic situation. Another toxic person. What's coming through for Virgo? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's coming through for Virgo? What's coming through? Insight or advice for Virgo? What's coming through for Virgo? Marriage. Look at that. Wow. Sweet love. Remember I said something was sweet? This person is sweet. There it is. Sweet love. The words are kind of small. It says couple and dependency. Someone you can depend on, Virgo. Marriage is coming through. The number six may be confirmation for someone. Could be six months, six weeks. Wow. Marriage is coming in. It says stubbornness. Yeah, this is what I feel. You see how the, the girl is plugging her ears like she doesn't want to hear it. I feel that for you. Like you may have felt for a while, like, you know, may, maybe marriage is not for me. Maybe it's not going to happen. I keep dealing with all this crap and crappy people. Yeah, but it's like, it's time to drop that guard. I got this energy a little bit for Aries. So you may have Aries in your chart. Insight or advice for Virgo. Loneliness. You could have been dealing with loneliness. Look at that. Dullness, disappointment, isolation. Don't isolate yourself, okay? We all need me time, alone time, but then it's a time where we need to come out of that, okay? And you may have felt disappointment, that word at the bottom here, disappointment with different lovers, different love situations, maybe even disappointment with a marriage. If you were married to this person who was very toxic, you felt a lot of disappointment, Okay, and you may have felt lonely in that marriage for some of you. And readiness. Yeah, get prepared. Get prepared, Virgo, because something is getting ready to take off. <laughs> Once you've gone through all of this, you know, crap with this other person, it's like coming through on the other side to something so sweet. Sweet love, brand new love. What does this new person want to say to Virgo? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What do they want to say to Virgo? Choosing to love you was the best decision. Wow. Choosing to love you, Virgo, was the best decision. Let's build a life together. Yeah. I long for you. This person really loves you. A thousand times yes. And one more for Virgo. I want to talk to you day and night. So yeah, this person is really invested in you. They want to be invested in you. And I feel like if you haven't met this person yet, there's going to be a sweetness there. Maybe that you didn't get before. You may have been dealing with someone who was stubborn, left you lonely, feeling lonely out in the cold. And this person comes to bring you a lot of sweetness. It, and I can't even explain it fully. It just feels so loving. This person is so damn loving. Virgo, you're going to know this person by how much love they show. And don't overthink it when it comes in. Because it's almost like spirit rewarding you for what you've been through. Your, your good deeds have not been unnoticed by spirit. 
And it's like spirit giving you back what you've sown into others. Spirit is giving you that back. Wow. Through a love situation. Alrighty, Virgos, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, I missed you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your likes, your subscriptions. I appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.